How to find shortest distance from a point to the line? I am Anil Kumar and I will try to answer this question with the help of few examples. Let us consider a point. So let me just sketch the coordinate system here. Let's say that is our coordinate system and we have some point on this coordinate plane. Let the point be 5, 4. So let us say this is our point and let me say this point is 5, 4. That means the x-coordinate of the point is 5 and the y-coordinate is 4. Now let us first consider what is the shortest distance of this point. Let's call this point as P from x-axis. So first thing, let's find shortest distance of P which is 5, 4 from x-axis. So can you tell me what is this distance? How much is this distance? Well from x-axis if we drop a perpendicular from this point right so we get the shortest distance. That's the perpendicular and the distance will be how much? 5 units or 4 units. Which one? Well, the y value is 4. So this is 4 for us and this is 5 for us. So the distance is the vertical distance and the distance is 4 units, right? So this distance is 4 for us. The vertical distance, the y coordinate. Do you see that? Now, you can answer the question the shortest distance of this point from y-axis, how much will that be? Yes, you're right. That should be the x-coordinate, right? This distance is the shortest distance, horizontal distance is the shortest distance from the point to the vertical y-axis. And that is the x-coordinate, which is 5. Correct? Now if we have any other line which is vertical or horizontal then the shortest distance could be found very easily as you have seen. So if I have a line here let us say I have a line which is x equals to minus 2 let us say. Let us say this line is x equals to minus 2. In that case the shortest distance now let us consider the shortest distance of this point from x equals to minus 2 is how much? Well, that should be the horizontal distance 5 plus 2 units, right? Correct. So that gives us answer as 7. So as far as the distance is concerned, the shortest distance from horizontal to vertical line is kind of simple, right? You can easily find as we did here. But what happens? If we have a line which is not vertical or horizontal, a slanting line for that matter. So let's draw a line. Let's, let me take this point for itself and draw a line like this. Okay. Let us assume that this point for us is 8. Now the question is, what is the shortest distance of our point 5, 4 from the line which has x intercept of 8 and y intercept of 4. So for that we have to drop a perpendicular, right? So once we drop a perpendicular, then this line gives us the line segment, gives us the distance, which should be the shortest. But we need to find this point, right? Let this point be Q. We need to find this point Q on the given line so that we can find the shortest distance. How are we going to find this point? That is the main question. Now let's work out and figure out how to do this. To solve this kind of a question, first we need equation of the line itself. The given line is having a x-intercept of 8 and y-intercept of 4. We can find slope of this line. Slope is rise over run. So if you move from 4 to 8, right, rise is minus 4 and run is 8. So slope is minus 4 over 8. We can say the slope is minus half. And 
for this line you know the y intercept is 4 so b is 4 for us and therefore equation of this line is y equals to mx which is minus half times x plus 4 so this is the equation of the given line right now we know the equation of the line any line which is perpendicular to this line will have slope of negative reciprocal of this line right so let me say that the perpendicular line let me call like this right perpendicular line slope should be how much negative reciprocal of minus half that means that should be 2 now that line which is perpendicular to the given line should go through the point 5 4 so that has to go through point 5 4 now what is the equation of this line equation of this line should be y equals to slope is 2 2x plus b now to find the value of b we need to substitute 5 and 4 in this equation and find the value of b right so let's do it so we have y equals to 2x plus b we'll substitute 5 and 4 5 is the x value 4 is y value so we get 2 times 5 plus b so we get 4 and equals to 10 plus b and that gives us b equals to minus 6 4 minus 10 now since b is minus 6 we can say our equation of the second line which is perpendicular so the line joining p and q is basically y equals to 2x minus 6 so that is the equation so we have two lines now the given line let's call it line 1 and this is line 2 so we found equation of our perpendicular line now how to find point Q to find point Q we should find intersection of these two lines right so as we can see the first step is find equation of the two lines given line and the line perpendicular to it going through the given point second is to find the point of intersection now to find the point of intersection we can equate the two y values right let's find point of intersection now to find that we have two equations y equals to minus half x plus 4 and y equals to 2x minus 6 so at point q both the values should be same let us find the x value okay so we get equating 1 equals to 2 we get 2x minus 6 is equals to minus half x plus 4 right bringing the x terms together we have 2x plus half x equals to 4 plus 6 2x plus half x is 2 and a half which is 5 by 2 right so 5 by 2x is equals to 10 or x is equals to 10 times 2 over 5 which gives us a value 20 divided by 5 as 4 so we get the x value for q right now since x is 4 what is y we can substitute in any one of these equations let us substitute 4 in equation 2 so we get y equals to 2 times 4 minus 6 which is 8 minus 6 as 2 correct so what we get from here is the coordinates of intersection of the two lines right so let me just divide this so what we got here is the point Q so we found that point P is 5 4 and point Q is x coordinate x and y x is 4 and y is 2 4 and 2 so that becomes the coordinate points for q now since we know p and q we can now find the distance between them right so the distance between them is we can use the formula so distance between p and q is equals to square root of we'll use the formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square square root now that is 4 minus 5 we can say square root of 4 minus 5 whole square 
plus 2 minus 4 whole square square root and that gives you square root of 4 minus 5 is minus 1 so let me write first minus 1 square plus minus 2 square which is indeed equal to square root of 1 plus 4 right which is square root of 5 and therefore we found that the shortest distance between the point P and the given line joining x and y intercepts 4 and 8 and 4 respectively is square root 5 right so we get our solution and that is shortest distance is square root 5 units correct so that is how we can solve these questions now let's look into the steps involved so step number one is we have to find slope of the line right so you find slope of line so when you find slope of the given line you also find equation of line so you find slope and equation of the given line that is the first part the second part to this is you find slope and equation of perpendicular line correct so slope is negative reciprocal and for equation we'll use the given point of the perpendicular line which goes through point P right and then the third step let me write the steps is one two and step number three is to find point of intersection between line one and line two correct so let's call this as line one and let's call this as line two and fourth step is to find distance find distance that should be the shortest distance since the two lines are perpendicular right so these are the steps involved to find the shortest distance from a point to any given line go through this once again I'm Anil Kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn more about similar topics thank you and all the best